Hello, I'm Paul Ludlow. Well, what a year it's been. We are back with the majority of our ships, all decorated and poised to embark on their festive cruises. This time last year, I talked about hope for the future. The definition of hope is a desire for something to happen. We certainly hoped that we would return to service and be able to give you the holidays you'd been looking forward to. In the spring, we announced that we would be sailing a series of UK coastal cruises on Britannia and Iona. In May, with so many of you watching from home, the bottle of Britpop cascaded its bubbles on Iona and it seemed to epitomise the hope of new beginnings. We then all began to tiptoe into the world again. In the summer months, as many thousands of you joined us on board, we saw the true beauty of the British coastline and the glory of Scotland as Iona visited her namesake island. In September, we cautiously began cruising to international ports of call, despite having to navigate their entry requirements for different cities and countries. No mean feat and only possible due to the diligence of our teams on ship and on shore. I know that along the way there have been disappointments and cancellations. Whilst these were inevitable, it does not diminish how sorry we were. Through it all, you and our extraordinary crew members have stuck with us supported us and kept hoping for better times. For that, we will be forever grateful. Now we hope for a new year, new adventures and new moments of togetherness and joy. Aurora and Arcadia will return to service in the spring. They have been waiting patiently and will be spruced up and ready for their new itineraries. Iona will finally sail to the Norwegian fjords and as I speak, we are beginning preparations for Arvia. She will be next year's Christmas present, joining the fleet in December 22. Wherever you are, whatever your plans, at home, at sea, I wish you and your loved ones a very happy and peaceful Christmas.